What's up, guys? I'm the Russell Gamer. Welcome to a very special edition of WGSTV right here on YouTube.com slash Russell Gamer. And joining me on this video today, guys, you see him right here on the left side of your screen. It's the Studley Man, Ashley. Ashley, how are you doing? Uh, doing pretty good. Looking forward to this first foray into video commentating or something. Over the past several years, there's been a deep-seated rivalry developing between Michael White of the Cajun Outlaws and our own general manager of Pro Wrestling 225, Jordy Pujol. How did this all take place? Well, check out this video package. Oh my god! What do you mean? He's got him! He's got him! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't believe you. this! a new United States champion here in GCW and his name is Michael White. Two men, formerly the best of friends, now the bitterest of enemies, came to a collision July 14th 
in Plaquemine, Louisiana at the Copac Gym. How would this match fare out? Well, you guys are about to find out right here on today's episode of WGS TV. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we now take you to Collision Course in Plaquemine, Louisiana. And as we see here, ladies and gentlemen, Jordy not coming alone to the ring, actually. As you see to, the, to his left, the game changer Christian Blake and, and Wow Thing, as you see Michael White already in the ring. The key thing we have to let everybody know, Ash, is Jordy Pujol is not a trained wrestler. He is the general manager of Pro Wrestling T25, but there is only so many times you can push a man before he's ready to fight back. Oh, absolutely. You know, that certainly, even as a referee, it's like you're not a trained competitor. You're not ready, sort of, for the bump. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the physical wear that you get wrestling uh, week in, week out. So it's going to be a tough one, but, yeah, it is, it's rightfully brought back up, but... By the looks of it, they're heading to the back, and also Michael White has uh, not got anybody with him either. So uh, I guess we're on a fair playing field. Hopefully, it stays that way. How can this man be proud of his actions? I, you know, I just don't know. Proud, certainly not fans. Listen to that response by our fans here in Plaquemine for our general manager, Jordy Pugel. Again, like we said before, ladies and gentlemen, Jordy is not a trained wrestler, but he is still a man. And when you push a man to his limits, he will fight back. And that's what's going to happen here at Collision Course against Michael White. There have been so many heinous actions Michael White has done against Jordy. That, that I've seen, in, including what happened just a few months ago with that steel chair to the arm as the bell sounds match is underway. Michael White looking to, to settle things here with Jordy. Jordy looking to put Michael White behind him and, and, and we, Jordy looking to, to go from possibly a single leg takedown Michael White on top of him. And here we go, Colin Elbow tie up. As White backs Jordy into the corner here. Will we see a clean break? We're a clean break by Michael White. Actually, I'm surprised by that. Yeah, well, uh, considering the shenanigans that Michael has, is, uh, I somehow don't think that's going to, sadly. A headlock right here by Michael White. So far, we've seen some good technical wrestling out of White. There we go, into a go behind, and nice race lock takedown. White showing his superior wrestling acumen against Jordy. Like we've already said before, Jordy is not a trained wrestler, but look at that counter! Look at that counter into that into that arm bar. It looked like Jordy was trying to hyperextend that, that arm and that elbow of White, and White was quickly into the bottom rope. White certainly not happy with uh, that. That took quite a few seconds for that hole to be broken by the ref. 
And oh, there's a shot right there to the mix section. And the clubbing blow to the back of Jordy. As White resorts to his street fighter style. Wait, misses the clothesline. Oh, oh, what a counter right there by Jordy taking down White. Goes for the cover and only a two. Oh, and now it's a cross arm breaker. Oh, that's a triangle right here. White trying to find some way out of it, he's got his foot on the bottom rope. Very submission MMA base sort of work here from Jordan. Very impressive from our own general manager, Jordy, to pull out that again like a first a triangle uh, submission hold and then he's transitioned into a cross arm breaker. Very nicely done and I'm and I don't think Michael White was anticipating Jordan to be that prepared for their encounter. But as you see, White slowly getting back into the ring. Trying to take his time to try to slow down any momentum that your general manager, Jordy Pugon, might have had. Uh, I'm also just trying to dictate it to his own pace. And then the match, and you, you gotta admit, actually, that's a smart strategy. Yeah, if 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 you wanna sort of uh, make sure that your opponent doesn't get control, you go out that ring and you take all the nine counts that you can before you have to get in before the ten. White now looking to work over the arm, but look at that counter again by Jordan, and once again going to that arm bar, again trying to hyper extend the oh, white yeah. arm. That nearly looked like a tap. It almost okay, did. Why are you tapping, Michael? Oh. And Jordy seems to have a target in mind. But Jordy, oh. Jordy's giving chase. Jordy's giving chase. Oh, but White caught him. It's, oh, God. Michael just lighting up the chest cavity of Jordy with that chop. Oh, we're being countered by Jordy. Jordy put on the brakes in the ring apron. Oh, what's Jordy going to do? Oh, Jordy retains the favor with a chop of his own. And Jordy is a man on a mission here tonight, Ash. Oh, God. So, I know I'm in the UK, but I heard that from here. What, 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 wow. And again, Jordy is a man yeah. on a mission here, and he's looking this eye, oh! but he left himself open. He made a rookie mistake right there. He took his eyes off of Michael White, and White right now is just making him pay for it. Yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to capitalize yet on that arm, and just as I say that, I, whether he's trying to work on the arm that uh, he's, he uh, smashed with the chair, a uh, month or so back. Uh, I'm surprised he hasn't tried to... Wow, very sort of simple pinfall. Yeah, it's... What a lackadaisical pin from Michael. That's his cockiness. That's the arrogance that Michael White oh, has. Absolutely. And now a blatant Again, choke! Like... A blatant choke! White is oh, choking wow. out Jordy rap, right in front of the rap. referee! Again, I'm not surprised right there. That's the, that's the attitude. That's the style of the Cajun Outlaws. Break every rule in the book. Win if you can. Cheat if you must. And once again, White is doing just that. He's choking the life out of Jordy on the bottom rope. Again, it, it's almost like the Eddie Guerrero style of a, a play that the Cajun Outlaws use, actually. Cheat to win... Jordy just thrown to the outside like an uh, animal carcass, just sort of lifeless. Oh! Oh! Well, it looked like White was going to try a, a cross body through the ropes. He, Ooh. But instead, he caught him with a fist from the ring apron. Again, this is very. Oh no, not on the outside. Oh! Oh my god! Ooh. That is a suplex on a concrete floor! No padding. Yeah, no mat, no mat in here. That's gonna sting for quite a while. 
And now White again. This is really, really dangerous here on the outside. And, uh -oh. Uh -oh. and what's going to happen here? Wait a minute. We, oh, it looked like White uh -oh. was going to send him into our fans here at ringside. And instead, he turns it around and throws him back into the ring. And White seems to be really confident that he can now put away Jordy whenever he wants to. And now, oh, now he's going after that arm. Off. Yeah. That's still got to be sore after, you know, getting sort of smashed in between the chair as it was folded over the arm. Yeah, I, I know that Jordy had that arm in a brace for, for several weeks. Thank goodness it wasn't damaged further than it, when it really was. And, and right now you see Michael White just targeting, like, all the joints. Like he was rugged Ronnie Garvin with those stomps. And again, this is the arrogance of Michael White, Ashley. He's not staying on the attack. He's pandering to our fans. Oh, that's just giving Jordy time to recover. Oh, the uh, leg, leg drop, drop goes for the cover. And again, that lackadaisical cover and only got a two count. It's almost like Michael White's not even really trying to put Jordy away right now, Ash. He's trying to make a point to these fans. And that could cost him, just like we saw earlier with uh, Jordy uh, getting some props from the fans and then got taken aside. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Jordy's got a triangle! A triangle out of nowhere! Jordy's got him caught! Jordy's got him caught! Will White tap! Will oh, well, look at the power. Wait, it looked like White was trying to pick him up and he couldn't! Jordy's got him caught! Jordy's got him caught in a triangle in the middle of the ring. Jordy doing it right though as well. He's keeping those shoulders up because if they go down, that referee can just be in there immediately for a free. Will White tap? Will he tap? Will White tap out to the triangle or will he pass out? Is I think he out. He, it, it, well, no, he's got his legs moving. His legs are still moving. White is still there. Is he passing out? Is he fading? Oh, oh, wait a minute, he's oh, up! No. White is up! White is up and only powerbombed his way out of it. But how much damage was done to Michael White while he was caught in that triangle, Ash? He how was... That was locked on him for quite a while. Like, you know, both are now going to be extremely exhausted. And Jordy find, trying to find some way to get himself back into this match. Trying to get back up to his feet. Jordy, like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, a man on a mission looking to settle the score with his rival and former friend, Michael White. What the? I'm not exactly sure what Michael White's doing. Oh, my God. Oh. Behind the referee's back, a low blow. Give me a break. That was absolutely heinous. Oh, wait a minute, look at Jordy! Where's the oh. more drop? Cover him, Jordy! Cover him! Only a two! Oh. Michael White trying a cheap way, trying a low blow. And Jordy responds with a Samoan drop and nearly got the win against White. I don't know if Jordan needs to go back to sort of the uh, the MMA style that he had earlier on in this fight. But exhausted. Oh, wow. Punches in the corner. Oh, oh wait. shoved off. All right, misses the close line. Oh, there's the white out. Oh. White hit the white out. That's got to be it. And I oh, kicked out. Whoa. What? How in the world did Jordan kick out of the white out? I've seen Michael White put away so many people with that whiteout, Ash. He looked, he looked out of it. Wet. There was something that was just calling to him. You know, the, the bitter rivalry between them, forcing him to get that shoulder up before the free count came. White now sends Jordy into the corner here. And looks like, oh, wait a minute, Jordy got out of the way. It looked like he was going to go for a cutter. Oh. A mi miss right there. Oh. Wait, there's a stunner! A stunner oh. by Jordy! Cover him! Cover him! Only a two. He had the bottom rope. Just got to the ropes. Jordy hit a beautiful stunner 
which could have put Michael Wood away, but White was just too close to the bottom rope and just grabbed it. Yeah, just an another few inches, and there would have been no room to reach for the ropes there for what. And what's Jordy going to do here? It looks like it might be cinching him up for a suplex, maybe a right counter right there. White's putting on a block. Oh, a little float oh, over. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He, that's the Anaconda Vice! The Anaconda Vice! Uh -oh. And it's on that injured arm, Ash. It's on that injured arm of Jordy. Yeah. Michael White is... Oh, wait a minute, a counter. Distance. Wait a minute, oh. a counter. Oh, roll through, but White was able to counter. Back. Oh, we're trying to... Oh, I thought we were trying to go for the pinfall there as well as what? Oh, yeah, but how much... Wait a minute, is Jordy out? Oh, that's it. Wait a minute. Wait. Yeah, I think I think our referee's stopping it. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The battle finally got. Yeah, Jordy passed out. He did not tap out, ladies and gentlemen. He did not give up. But his body, he, he, it was just too much pain. Too much pain. Referee stopped it, yeah. And Jordy just passed out in pain. Michael White picks up the win due to referee stoppage. But, jo but our general manager, Ash, he definitely brought the fight to Michael White here tonight. There were some very close calls for somebody that doesn't have clearly as much wrestling experience as Michael White has. A very good showing, I would say. But you... Again, Jordy has got nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing at all to be ashamed of. He brought the fight to Michael White here tonight. And Michael White might be walking away victorious. But he's got to wonder in the back of his mind how close he came to losing to Jordy Pujol here at Collision Course. Again, Jordy's got nothing to be ashamed of, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing at all. As we hear our great fans here in Plaquemine giving their best to our general Rightfully. manager. Rightfully taking the uh, applause and the praise from the crowd. It was a good showing, admittedly. It was on the losing side, but... And well, and there's Christian oh. Blake. Christian Blake proud of what Jordy was able to accomplish. A game changer. Absolutely. Yeah. He had to believe that Jordy trained with both Christian Blake and Wild Thing leading up to this match. And there will be another day, ladies and gentlemen. You, you got to figure there will have to be another day somewhere down the road where Jordy Pugel and Michael White will once again butt heads in pro wrestling 225 this rivalry is far from over to say the least uh, well actually any final thoughts before we head out um no i'd say uh a good a good effort from jordan but uh michael certainly being on the top this time around yep so with that folks ladies and gentlemen we're going to call it here. If you guys like this video, be sure you slam that like button. Like a champ. And if you guys want to see more wrestling talk, awesome gameplays, and more of WrestleDown, you know the two ways you got to do it. You got to leg drop the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to turn on notifications. So that way you guys will never miss out on another video right here on my channel. So with my special thanks to the Studley Man Ashley, I'm your friendly neighborhood Russell Gamer reminding all of you guys out there to just stay awesome. Bye, guys!